So Grace Randolph, a.k.a. Chlamydia Burns, is finally discussing the Acolyte trailer. And it looks very good. It looks excellent. I'm very excited. Dude, that doesn't sound very genuine. I guess she must have thought that if she waited a week, I might not notice. Mama's wrong again. So she begins by accusing fans basically of lying in wait, waiting for the trailer to drop so they could immediately jump on it and start hating it. I was surprised that the Acolyte was so low. It trended when they announced they were going to do the trailer, but it was apparently just for people because they were getting ready to hate on it, which is kind of sad. As usual, she doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. The day the trailer dropped, it did have more likes than dislikes. So it would be more accurate to say that the pro-Disney crowd, the Disney Star Wars shills, were the ones waiting to blast this trailer with likes and false praise, more so than the haters waiting to blast the trailer with dislikes. These pro-Disney NPCs come up with all their excuses, but the fact of the matter is, is that the ratio accurately represents how the fan base feels about Disney Star Wars. So for those of you who don't know, Chlamydia Burns is a radical feminist. So naturally, she will have an orgasm over seeing Carrie Ann Moss. Carrie Ann Moss looks incredible! She looks so great! Yes, that's right, Trinity from the Matrix movies. She is a perfect Jedi. Shut up! Shut up! You crazy bitch whore! I mean, it's just absolutely perfect. I can't, I just, I... I, it's just, I can't wait. How do you know it's perfect? You haven't seen the show. I mean, the pro Disney crowd is always coming after us for criticizing the show before it comes out. Why are you allowed to say it's perfect? Funny how that works, isn't it? You dusty old queef. So here's Amanda Stenberg. She has a really nice beauty shot, which looks great later on in the trailer. Wow, another woke pro Disney social justice warrior type misgendering Amanda Stenberg. Hashtag cancel chlamydia burns. Okay, so she misgendered her twice in the previous clip, and we have the misgender counter set at two. Now let's see how many more times chlamydia burns misgenders Amanda Stenberg. All right, there's Amanda Stenberg. She does look great. She looks phenomenal. Purple. I guess they're still finding their colors. Uh, she looks great. She looks great. I do think her hair looks phenomenal. I think she looks really great. You are a bigot. But this character seems like a combination to the uh, apprentice villain in Ahsoka and, uh, you know, uh, the apprentice villain in uh, uh, Obi-Wan. Wow, doesn't even know their names. Hashtag fake fan. So I'm like, well, what about those two ladies? Why don't we just get back to them? How about no? All right. Oh, there's a Chewbacca. I forgot what they're called. Why do you even cover Star Wars at this point? You don't know what anyone's name is, you don't know that this is a Wookiee, and you didn't even remember that Obi-Wan Kenobi dies in A New Hope. But they gotta have someone good in there. They got, maybe, I mean, I mean maybe Obi-Wan could show up? Maybe we could find a way? You know, he'd be much older, I guess, at this point. But, uh, you know, no, he died, right? Ah, oh, darn it. Stupid bitch. Dumb cunt. Fucking whore! So a darkness rises. That's pretty cool. And for the grand finale, this would not be a Disney Star Wars Shills React video if she did not point out that the color of the lightsaber is... Red. That's red. All right, then there's a red lightsaber. What? Where the heck did that come from? Who caught it? Oh, my God. Why? Ugh. Why do I choose to have chlamydia in my life? Jesus Christ, make sure you hit that like button before you get out of here. Please subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, and most importantly, thank you all for watching.